Hello everyone. Mr. Schwartz and I wanted to take a few minutes of everyone's time to discuss school safety. In light of recent events, our whole state and nation are re-examining safety practices and procedures to make sure that we are all as safe as possible while here at school. Please listen carefully during the next few minutes while we review a few of our procedures here. Thank you for your kind attention. We will review fire alarm procedures first. We have always done a nice job of evacuating the building when the alarm sounds. Each room should have a map posted which indicates the correct path to exit the building and where to congregate outside. We exit in a calm and organized manner. A new thing that we are stressing with fire alarm evacuations is that we are asking all students to stay with your classes when you are leaving the building. In the event of a real emergency, it is important that teachers know where their students are so they should be grouped together for accountability purposes. If you are in common areas like hallways, library, or the CAF, please listen to directions from staff in the event of this type of evacuation. An all clear announcement will signify that it is safe to return into the building. Next, we will discuss lockdown procedures. If you hear the term lockdown over the PA, your teacher will quickly check the hallway to allow any students or staff in the halls to enter the room. Your teacher may check nearby laboratories as well. Then your classroom door will be locked and lights will be shut off. All inside the class will move to an area out of the, out of the sight line from the doorway windows. If you're in the CAF, you will move to the faculty room and or the kitchen area. If you're in the library, you will move to the J Hall lecture room. Students in the gym, pool, or auditorium will get specific directions from their teacher. It is important that all students remain quiet, calm, and attentive. The school will remain in lockdown until the official all clear announcement. Next, we will discuss stay put. This term means that students and staff will stay in their classes until notified otherwise. Students and staff who are in hallways and lavatories when this announcement is made should enter the nearest secured area. During a stay put, lights remain on and cell phones should not be used unless the administration indicates that use of electronic devices is allowable. Students in the CAF, library, gym, etc. will remain in these areas under supervision. Specific directions may be issued by administration and security during a stay put. Next, we have a procedure called controlled movement. In this case, we will follow our normal bell schedule. During passing time, students may use lavatories. Teachers and staff will be in the hallways during controlled movement to monitor passing. Once students are in their scheduled class, they must remain there until the, until the bell rings, signifying movement to the next scheduled period. During class time, no passes will be issued and no students may be in hallways in a controlled movement. If for any reason students need to leave a class during controlled move movement, security will be called to escort students. We hope that you all have a clear understanding of our emergency procedures, including fire alarms, lockdowns, stay put, and controlled movement. In the case of, a real, of real emergencies, calm heads will always prevail. All staff will work to ensure that the safety of students and each other is maintained. As always, we expect students to be fully cooperative and helpful to staff and each other. Another important initi initiative at MASIC is improved door security. We are working to ensure that once our school day is underway, all students, staff, and visitors enter the school through the main entrance. We ask that no one be allowed into the school except through the main entrance. Please do not allow anyone entrance into the school through any exterior door. Instead, outsiders who are either familiar or, un or unfamiliar must enter our school through the main entrance where they can be checked in by security and our office staff. Students and staff who arrive late to school, for whatever reason, must enter the school through the main entrance. Students then must obtain a pass to proceed to their destination. Speaking of passes, as always, students must have an official pass to be in hallways when classes are in session. Upperclassmen are reminded that if they have an early dismissal, a permanent early dismissal, they may leave school at the designated time. Permanent EDs are not hall passes. Students with permanent EDs who choose not to leave school may sit in the cafeteria. Your compliance with this rule is appreciated and it is understood that all of these procedures are in place for the safety of all. Finally, our last initiative revolves around identification. As you have noticed, staff members are now wearing their ID badges. We have worked with LifeTouch, our school photography partners, to reissue badges for every student in the building. Students will be given their ID badge and lanyards in their advisory classes. 
All staff and students will be required to wear their ID badges during the school day. If students lose, misplace, or leave their ID badges at home, they can be replaced in the main office. There will not be a charge for the first replacement. After the first replacement, however, charges will be incurred for the production of additional badges. I want to thank the entire student body for their cooperation thus far. Since December 14th, we have had an opportunity to speak to several students to talk about improving our security measures. Everyone has been very receptive and understands that we are dealing with a new normal. Some of these changes are very minor, but it is important that we address these issues by beginning to change our behaviors and some of the little things that we do, like opening exterior doors for visitors or late arrivals. If you have any questions or additional suggestions for improvement, please feel free to discuss them with your teachers or the staff in the main office. Thank you very much.